Hey everyone and welcome back to CK2 Plus and the House Calling. And we're back with the death of our Empress Constance the Good. She's reigned for a long time and many things have happened in between episodes. So let's go over all of them. Uh, first of all, obviously, yeah, uh, she died. So we now play as Emperor Richard Carling. Uh, we'll check him out in a second. First of all, the... Defensive Pact has disbanded, but I think we're going to get one against ourselves very soon, since we're over 15% uh, percent threat. But that's fine. It, not really a big deal. Uh, an emissary from Paris, uh, well, has arrived in Paris from Duke Ferdinand or Fedelmid II of Knacht, offering to extend the arrangement of tribute. Um, yes, I think we will, of course, accept. Um, now, there's a few other people that we have made tributary. Obviously, the Welsh King, the British uh, Br Breton King... Uh, well, whatever it is called. I mean, we are technically king of Br the Britannia, so it's hard to say. Uh, king of Scotland was also a tributary, as well as this little dude here, the petty king, um, Everald the Liberator. So we'll see, perhaps he wants to become a vassal. Mm, foreign culture, not my du jour liege, which is not true, king of England. But um, if I send him a little bit of money, this might work. Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, power does give us a lot. It's hard to say. We'll check it out. But, um, yeah, we've given up the ghost at age 64. Uh, Empress Constance died of great pox, although not especially blessed. We hope Constance will find peace in the afterlife. Yeah, and we lost the title. Queen Rovnin of England, uh, Fraticelli, uh, the Duchy, Duchess of Somerset, was elected as Queen of England. So, yeah, she's a very powerful vassal now. We'll have to see how that goes. But for now, we have Emperor Richard, a renowned man. Dignitaries from far and wide will surely bow before him. Long live Emperor Richard. So be it. We have too many titles because we inherited our Italian holdings. Uh, holdings. But that's fine. Uh, and now we have Raymond as our current heir. We are married to Empress Heloise of the Zunizio Bacamon house. So that's really cool. And she's given birth to two children so far. We have tons of siblings, Rem Rambo calling, for example, who's heir to a bishopric. But yeah, we've got, oh, we've got a genius brother. Mmm, interesting. Been a while since we had geniuses, but we might, uh, yeah, we might get them. But yeah, let's check this out for now. Let's pause. Um, yep, if you want to be tributary, that's fine. So does the King of Scotland. And this king. Okay, so we get all of our tributaries back. That's good. That's good. Um, but yeah, I gotta tell you a little bit about what has happened. Wait, who's this? Oh, that's the, yeah, the Queen of England here. Yeah, so she's Fraticelli. Mm, not really sure what we're gonna do about that. But there are a few things that have happened. First of all, the King of Galicia this was destroyed. So we have this huge, uh, strong Duchy of Beja. We have the Duke of Porto. And then we have the Count of Coruna, and then the Aragonese Holdings. Um, yeah, that's one kingdom that got destroyed. Pretty unfortunate. We also had, uh, yeah, obviously England. That is what we lost. We also have, uh, and I think the third rebellion here in Jerusalem. As you can see, Jerusalem itself is no longer held by the king, um, and it changed hands several times. And it seems like there's a few people. Yeah, look at this. Croatia managed to. Get a holding in here and there was also a strong egyptian liberation revolt which somehow got defeated but um looked as if they were going to win as well it seems like yeah i don't know maybe because there's so many rebellions going on they kind of destroyed it i don't know what happened there but yeah that's certainly interesting we also lost yeah parts of bulgaria most of bulgaria really um the king of serbia or some dude, actually. Let me quickly show you this. The This duchy was inherited. So this dude of Tornova died. He was murdered on the orders of the Grand Prince. And yeah, this guy inherited. And so we lost... <coughs> excuse me. We lost, um, we lost parts of <laughs> Bulgaria to the Serbian Grand Prince. Uh... Uh, I think we had claims. Yeah. We had strong claims as our uh, empress, but I didn't want to go through the 
uh, coalition there, defensive pact, so I didn't press them. We might want to press them at some point, I don't really know, but yeah, so our our strength here has been has been reduced significantly. Yeah, other than that, uh, we have Poland that is being just destroyed from all kinds of places, and yeah, I was just going to say, Lithuania was fighting, uh, attacking Poland uh, in a holy war, and somehow they have submitted to the, uh, yeah, to the Kagan. That's actually interesting. And why is your heir imprisoned? Some other Kagan that imprisoned him. Okay. But yeah, so Lithuania is now part of the Mongol Empire, but that was not conquered. I don't know how that happened. Uh, it's still sort of interesting. And yeah, Poland not only lost to Hungary, but also several times to Sweden. So they are, yeah, very, very weak right now. Other than that, the Holy Romans defeated their rebellion, which is good for them, I suppose. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So let's check out our ruler right now. We are Richard of Francia. We're not crowned. We're pretty martial-oriented guy. We're cynical. Uh, we're gregarious. We have a hunting dog. We're content and proud. So yeah, that's cool. We have imperial decadence, 10 to 20. Okay, so national tax goes down. Huh. Okay, so an empire is hard thing to hold together. It's basically the title, the imperial title. As soon as you have an empire, you get this decadence modifier. And whenever it changes hands, it actually is increased by 10. So that's really difficult to hold on to it. Uh, we did expel the Knights of Santiago. That's one of the crazy things I did as Constance in uh, in between episodes. Really, there was not, not much else we could do. It was just a little lordship here. Um, even just a barony that I took over. Didn't really matter much, but I decided, why not? Let's do it. So yeah, our mother is Empress or Duchess Sophie the Ox of Barry. Are we the heir to Barry? No. Our lady sister, Sophie Carling, married matrilineally to Lord de Balleroy, and they already have a child, Everard, a nephew. Okay. That's good. Yeah, we are not crowned. We also have a few council positions that need to be refilled. Do we have any friends? Yes. Our rival, the rival of the, yeah, the Duke of the Upper Pyrenees is our rival. So that's a little bit of a problem. Um, okay. We've got two court physicians. This one should be fired. Court jester should be the Duke of the Upper Pyrenees. If I find him. He's already Seneschal. We'll revoke your honorary title. And we'll give you this instead. So that's done. We can set a crown focus, which will obviously be... Hmm. Uh, I think... We'll make... No, not make this a capital. Set the crown focus here. More likely to prosper, may receive special events. Yeah. Because we already have booming and booming here, so we might as well try and get other provinces to boom too. We can request an imperial coronation. Which we should do. We can also... Ah, okay. Lower Imperial Decadence. So that... Ruled more than five years. Has piety. Is not uncrowned. It lose prestige and piety and will reduce it by one to five. Okay, that's cool. And we spend a lot of gold on this. That's fine. Uh, look forward to the coronation. Um, we were just planning a feast and summer uh, fair. I think we'll have our coronation first. Then we'll do the other things. We need to, hmm, yeah, we need to, first of all, appoint a marshal for which I'm going to pick. This guy is a champion. I will pick Duke of Tangiers or Duke of Orléans. Groom your heir, become a trained fighter. Uh... He's a bit lazy. We'll pick this guy. Then, Stuart is fine. Oh, wow. If we have a great spy master, which we do, Duke of Toulouse, uh, we have actually 20 20 20 with a very great council. Awesome. All right, this is fine. Then, we still need an advisor for which I'm going to probably pick. 
Hmm, the Queen of England. He's currently heir to Francia. What? That's interesting. Uh, I will probably pick our mother-in-law, Duchess Sibyl the Prudent, as advisor. There you go. Um, and we need to appoint a successor. Yes. So let's go ahead and do that here. Nominate Raymond, our son. Yep. And we'll do that for all of the other kingdoms as well. Don't think we can vote for... Ah, oh, we can vote for the Holy Roman Empire. I can only vote for myself, can I not? I cannot even vote for myself. Ah, okay. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, Kingdom of France is going to Anjou, which I hope is not true. Might be. Um, okay. So, I think my brother is going to be the one who I make Duke of Verona. We have so many titles. Yeah, I will make my brother Duke of Verona. Grant you... Uh, Verona. If I find it. There you go. And you will get the entire duchy as well. Very good. So you have Mantua, Verona, and Treviso. And I guess these 300 men will have joined our retinue. Need a new commander. Which is fine. I'll pick... Yeah, I'll pick you. That's cool. We do need a new Seneschal. For which I'm going to pick... Um, our mother, the Duchess of Berry. Uh, sure. And then as Master of Hunt. Hmm. Someone who's good at hunting. Wow, we've got a few Valdensian guys. Look at this. Duke of Artois. Duke of Anjou. And Duke of Flanders. So yeah, Anjou lost basically everything. He's just a duke now. And he's got nothing else. Uh, anyone hunting? No. Doesn't look like it. Alright, well, this guy, he's champion already. Hmm, Simon. I just want a hunter. Fine. The Chancellor of Francia. Duke of Toulouse. Duke of Aquitaine. Fine. You're gonna be my hunter then, I guess. Okay. With Tarnist of Britannia. Interesting. But we'll, yeah, we'll keep it for now. Okay. Anything else? We have got people we can imprison. We can imprison the Queen of England. Why? She's a plot. End your plot. Hmm. I don't know if we will do that. I think we want to wait for our coronation for now before we do anything else. We've got this decadence to deal with now. And... No. We'll wait for someone else. I think the Pope should crown us. That would be ideal. And we need another commander. Duke of Orléans, then. Um, no. Carloman the Dwarf is Fraticelli of Genoa. Hold out for someone better. Why, all, why are they all so shit? Uh, there's a defensive pact, yes. Can we have someone else, please? This guy's at least French. Where's this bishop, Rick? Hmm. I don't know, man. I I guess. No, is there someone else? Breton. Okay, I I'll take the new French. You're declining. To come to my coronation. I see. Maybe is it because I wait too long? Huh. The Archduchess Catherine of Austria is not coming either. She's French again. Prince Leon. Then we've got the Duke of Carrington. And Orson. Who's tall. Yep. All tall. That's so cool. So she has... She is tall. Her husband... Is attractive. And then... 
They are all tall. That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, she was married to... Ah, I see. That's some incest going on right there. Perfect. Anyway, it's a shame you're all not coming. Uh... Okay, well, Dimitri, the noble, is coming of Corsica. Nice. So is the king of Croatia. Castile. Hungary. Okay, cool. You're French? Alright, fine. Fine, fine. Perform the ceremony. Where, where are you? You're the bishop, Rick? Okay, cool, fine. You'll do the ceremony then. Ugh, took way too long. I was hoping the Pope was gonna do it, but Pope was not interested. The royal coronation just a day away, you can choose a new name. I think Richard is fine. I'm not taking my name. I think this is uh, not changing it anyways. We gain piety, are crowned, and decadence will be reduced by one. Let the festivities commence. Um, yeah, glory faction is happy. And Imperial Decadence is now 9.8. Ah, that's not too bad. So we don't have any effects of it right now. Perfect. Wonderful. Now we have, uh, we are holding on to Bayeux and Mortin. That will probably not make you very happy. Yeah, but that's just the way it is. We have found a new friend. An Archbishop. Wonder if we're actually friends. No. Okay, we just improved relations. And my content lifestyle costs me something, apparently. Okay, many thanks. Word of an epidemic. We've received news of an epidemic in the Mongol Empire. The information is vague, but word is people are dying like flies in the fear of the diseases spreading as fast as the affliction itself. Oh, okay. So this is the 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 um, Black Death, I think. Right? Yep, there it is coming. 1289. Well, whew, we'll see if we can make it. I mean, luckily, we have a huge line of people. So, I think we're going to make it. Um, Duke Sylvester is really annoying me because he seems to have a better sway over the people. It's annoying. One night in a coronation feast, it seems everyone wants to dance with you. Bourguignia, in particular, however, seems more interested than most. The way she smiles at you, you suspect she might be interested in more than just a dance with the Emperor. Okay. She's lowborn. Hmm. Now. Our wife is chast. She's a drunk. She's slothful. I mean, she's zealous. And we're cynical. So that doesn't work. She is... Very shrewd, but she drinks a lot, and she's chast. I think our 22-year-old emperor wants to have a little bit of fun, right? Maybe? I think so. Let's let's see where this goes. I think we're not just going to dance. I think we're going to... Oh, we're going to fall in love immediately. Okay. Uh, I can see that. I mean, we're satisfied with our lot in life, but I think just at this night, we're just... We're so gregarious. I think, I think we're gonna, we're gonna cheat. I think we're gonna fall in love with this woman. I mean, yeah. Let's let's just see where that goes, and and we'll see what happens. But yeah, um, so we do have a lover now. We have a rival as well. Let's make sure that we have you all as important characters. Let's quickly check out all of our important characters. Maybe our wife needs to be important too, as well as our heir. Our brother should like us as Duke of Verona, so that's perfect. And yeah, so we've got our mother-in-law, Sibyl. We've got the Pope, uh, which is, I guess, not that important anymore. Yeah, we don't really care about him. Who's the heir? Cardinal Gunther, the Zealot. <laughs> Good. Great name. Uh, our cousin in Normandy. Then that's us. I don't think I need myself as an important character. That's fine. Etienne, he's no longer our friend, so I don't really care about him too much. Um, yeah, okay, the rest all makes sense. Cool. This is an issue. The Duchy of France will be inherited. What? That is elective too. 
Okay, we need to change that. A series of shouts aroused during the coronation feast. The guests part revealed the culprits. Grandmaster Sentuli uh, with a blade. Uh, this is a fat. Hmm. I think we'll not have a duel. Yeah, we'll not have a duel at our wedding. Uh, coronation, anyway. Um, the Archbishop is. Ah. Uh, the wrong flagon before him. Send him off. Okay, he's ranting. That's fine. Let him rant. Uh, but let's hope that everyone is happy. Finally drawn to a close. We are improving relations with our factions there. Okay, great. Now, let's um, let's see what we can build. Um, by you. Let's see if there's something we can upgrade here. No. Okay. And same goes for this. Yeah, nothing can be upgraded. So I guess we'll upgrade these provinces maybe improve the keep and Bayou can be improved to the keep as well and maybe the trade post can be improved no nothing to do there okay cool then we'll leave it at that anything we can do in the military we could technically no we cannot build up our retinue we have too many this is horsemen cool I mean I'll take it all the horsemen we can get. Definitely want France back under control. I wonder who is your heir now. I mean, it's still elective. Yeah. She might change it. That's possible. And what do you want? Small gathering of friends. No. I don't think I care to come to your gathering of friends. So let's just get you together. Don't need a general there. Thank you very much. I will, however... Um... Make sure that we order sign commanders. But yeah, let's check this out. There's only five people. There's actually... Oh, my brother. There's five people voting for our brother. Oh, he's a genius, right? Hmm. Maybe I should vote for him too. He's 12 years old. How old is my son? Three. That's a problem. Let's give him the pride focus. Uh, you will get the duty focus. Yeah, maybe... My brother is the better choice. He's older. You know what? That's fine. Let's change this. Let's choose... Yeah, not this brother. Let's choose the genius brother. Yeah. Um, and for France as well. I think that will work out better. And Bulgaria... We'll choose him as well. Yeah, Bulgaria doesn't actually really matter much. Okay, who's heir to France now? Sylvester of Normandy still. So the Kingdom of France hasn't yet been swayed. But close, it's getting there. If these two people change, Duke of Verona, yeah, our brother and the Pope, if they change their mind, then uh, that's going to be cool. Yeah, who are you? Count of York? I don't think I care to come to your whatever. Let's have a feast, a summer fair, and a grand hunt. I will find the white stag. Perfect. We are hunting, we are a hunter, so I feel like this fits quite well, and we do have a hunting dog. But all of this will happen next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys then.